Well, that's Jesse. So I got a couple separate reports of, of teachers, of course, you know, the, the sick perverts that they are today. I'm glad I don't have kids. I swear to God, I wouldn't put up with this shit for nothing. If, if my kids came home and told me that they had an assignment like this, that whole school would be burnt to the ground. Dude, these people are disgusting. It doesn't say that they're LGBTQ, but it wouldn't shock me a goddamn bit. And I don't care what phobic they want us to say that that is. You did it to yourself. Maybe don't act like that and you wouldn't have that problem. But this first one is in Oregon. The teacher's name is Kirk Miller. He gives an assignment for them to write a sexual fantasy. And they're supposed to include things commonly identified with foreplay, such as candles, feathers, oils. But they're not, one of the stipulations of it was they were not allowed to write about penetration or oral sex. They had to demonstrate a sense of physical intimacy that could be achieved without sex. Pervert is what that is. That's a fucking pervert. There's no other way. These people, I don't know why people are just so oblivious to it. Normally when people do things like that, when you give an assignment like that and you're a teacher over high school students, you're, you're trying to see if there's any of them in there that's possibly, that they could get away with, you know, advancing with because maybe that person likes them back. These people are gross. And then some of them are just disgusting and they probably sit up there and they play with themselves the whole freaking time because they're just, just nasty people. These people are sick. I don't know, where the hell are we just hiring teachers off the, the street and don't even give them any kind of background checks or nothing? You should never have a teacher given any kind of sexual assignment so that they can read their, their thoughts afterward. That's fucking disgusting. All these fathers of these kids should have went down there and beat the shit out of him. I don't understand how this is all going on today. But that's just, he's on leave right now. But there's another assignment that he had given. With whom would you do it? Now, there's actually a father who went to the school board. And I'll read you what he, he said to them. At Church Hill High School in Eugene. This is the father. I am here to discuss the, this atrocity of assignments. I want to first say that you're a liar. It's not a rumor. I have the proof right here on my phone. With whom would you do it? And my daughter specifically stated that the teacher put up a wheel on the class board and it stated anal penetration, oral sex, licking of ear, kissing. And he wanted them to write down the initials of the boy or girl that they would do these activities with. Now, I don't know what's worse, wanting to know my child's sexual fantasy or who they're going to have anal penetration and oral sex with. What is he gaining from this? What do you gain from this information? Why has my daughter, who na na naively done this assignment because she's scared? She wants to get good grades. She wants to get her license. She wants to get good grades, and she does this assignment. Where is this assignment? Why hasn't she had it turned back to her with her grade on it? What is he doing with it? Is this for his spank bank? Is he literally using this for his sexual deviance? Yes. These are questions that need to be answered. He verbally sexually has abused every single child in that classroom. You look up the definition. I gave you the paper for the definition of verbal sexual abuse. Now, sexual abuse is sexual abuse. So where are the criminal charges? Why is he still teaching? Is it because he's the football coach at, and Churchill's doing good? Don't want to lose this hype because football doesn't matter when it comes to our children. This sexual deviant needs to be removed. If you do not remove him, I'm going, giving you my word to, today that tomorrow morning I will go down to, to the county clerk's office and I will file for the removal of every single one of you. Yeah. He's, he's a lot nicer than I would have been, but I'm just saying that that's good that he did something, but I, I don't understand these teachers. It's just fucking disgusting. Then you have another one here that this one here is just a brain dead fucking idiot. And I don't know why he would go along with this. So you had another student in the class actually bring this up for an assignment and the teacher just went with it, you know, because he said that the kids were hard to get to in that class. But this is in Chesapeake, Virginia at Crestwood Middle School. So one of the students' idea was basically write an essay or whatever about ways to kill one particular student in the class. Some of it had said, talked about chopping him up, throwing him out the window, burning him alive, and feeding him to dogs. 
that was the actual assignment that he gave. And then they started, you know, putting ideas on their tablets in class. But then that kid went home that night and told his parents about it. I couldn't even imagine being those parents. I'd be fucking furious. I mean, yeah, it's, it's probably was just a joke by the kid, but no teacher that has any common sense would go along with that. You're making that kid feel like shit, regardless of how, if he thinks that they're actually going to hurt him. You're just, I, I don't know, that doesn't even make any sense as to why you would go along with that. There needs to be like a, a strict guideline of what they can teach. They don't need to be doing all this fucking ignorance. I don't know where we got into this sexual fucking craze with kids. And it's all these teachers. I, and there's nobody noticed it. And it's also, hate to say it, fucking perverts, LGBTQ people. Yeah, you know what you are. You're perverts. I don't give a fuck what people say anymore about it. You can't say that they're all like that. Yeah, you can. None of you are fighting back against it. That's the problem. If you had some people once in a while that would you know, speak the fuck up and get some of these people out of your group, maybe we'd have an opinion of, of just separate people. But you guys don't stop anything, anybody from doing anything. They can do whatever the hell they want to whomever they want, and you guys do not give a fuck. It, it's fucking disgusting is what it is. And speaking of LGBTQ, which I want to make a video about this, I found a huge, huge thing of charts and, and data on the actual facts of how harassment and bullying and this and that goes from straight people and transgender people. And I think you can take a wild guess as to which way it's actually going as to the way that we're told. Almost 90 some percent of the time, it's the other way. I'll go over that. Nothing makes me happier than to drag that shithole group down. I can't fucking stand them. I, I, I can't. I've never seen a group of people that piss me off more than them. And it's not even the gays and lesbians. It's that other fucking disgusting side of that shit. There's fucking fake perverts. The ones that make women look like fucking clowns with AIDS. They're, they're fucking stupid is what they are. I can't stand any of that shit. Anybody that plays into that bullshit today is a fucking retard. You're telling your kids that they can pick their genders at fucking five and six years old because you're a goddamn dumbass fucking moron. You should have never had kids. But anyway, that was just these two, two teachers. Now, I've seen several other ones in there that... It, it's just, it's fucking unreal that there's so many of them. And they all came out of the woodwork, it seemed like, during this administration, if you ask me. But he did hire that Rachel Levine. Fucking disgusting, ugly, nasty thing. That's all that thing's ever worried about is, you know, somebody's pronouns and gender. And since we have to say gender and sex is different, which it's not. It's ridiculous that you guys today think gender is something that's totally... You can just pick and choose and make up and go with whatever day you feel like doing something. You're just, you're embarrassing is what you are. You're uneducated fucking idiots and you look stupid. You look like clowns. Every single one of you, you look goofy. You don't like that? Well, I don't like a lot of things and you're one of them. So deal with it. That's it.